Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video was requested by one of our lovely fam members. Um, she requested that I do a what's in your bag video. I look a little short. Okay, that's a little better. Um, she requested to do a what's in your bag video. And I was like, oh, I hadn't actually thought about doing one of those and why not? So, we'll get started. But first, I should mention, my handbag situation or what I carry is a little bit different, I think, than most videos that you'll see here on YouTube because I go to work every day. Not that that's unique, but I do commute to work every day on the train. I live in Chicago and I work downtown and so I need to commute every day to work and I'm taking public transportation and I just don't think it's the wisest decision to carry a fancy handbag on the train. So I instead carry a different bag. So pretty much Monday through Friday, if I'm at work, I'm carrying one bag on the weekend. I carry something a little different. So I'm going to show you guys both of them. Um, the work bag I'll show very briefly. Um, and then I'll show you my other bag as well. So this bag from Timbuktu. I'll show you that there. And so this bag is pretty cool for a couple reasons. One, I got it because it is very versatile and convertible into a few different options. So number one, you undo these straps here and you can actually put your yoga mat in here. And so at the time when I purchased it, I was doing yoga a ton. And so I needed something that would help me kind of get my bag back and forth or my mat back and forth. I actually only use this portion um, a little bit because I found that when I have my mat there, unfortunately, it is obviously being carried horizontally and that doesn't make for good etiquette on public transportation. So it actually made it seem as though I, like I was bumping into people with my mat because this is also a backpack. And so you'll see here, it's got two straps right there in order to be a backpack. So that option I really like a lot because I tend to carry a lot of stuff, as you'll see. And so this allowed me to carry things but have it evenly distributed um, on my shoulders because I do get a lot of shoulder pain from heavy handbags, unfortunately. The third thing that I like most about this bag is that you can unsnap these handles and make one and then it can be a shoulder bag. So I thought that was pretty nifty of an idea. So this is pretty much the bag that I carry during the week when I'm headed to work. So that's that, okay. The items that are in my bag, be it this bag or the other bag that I'll show you, really don't change much. Um, the only exception are a couple items here that I'll show you super quick. In my work bag specifically, I have a couple things some are odd. One is a little Eucerin hand cream uh, doohickey here. It's a little sample size of it, but I tend to stick samples of hand cream in every crevice of every bag that I own. Because I am a nurse, I wash my hands a ton at work and my hands are always chronically dry. And this motion is crazy. Anyway, um, so I always have a sample of hand lotion in my bag somewhere whether it belongs in that spot or not. The second thing I have, or the next two things, are hair related. So I tend to, I may start the day with my hair down and that may last all day or it may last five minutes depending on my work day. So I always have a clip of some sort so I can kind of just take my hair and get it into a quick bun, be it on the top of my head or on the back of my head, but just to get my hair out of the way um, so I can work and complete functions as needed while I'm there. To that end, um, I occasionally will go to work out after work or um, maybe it's just that type of day. So I also keep a headband in my bag because you just never really know how the day is going to end up. So I like to stay ready. So this one is actually a little dusty. I was kind of getting all the dust off of it because it's in the bottom of my work bag. But this is a Lululemon headband. Um, like I said, if I do work out, it's generally yoga, maybe a couple other things sprinkled in there, but their headbands are amazing. And the last thing that 
is different from my work bag is this little strawberry. Um, what it is actually is a disposable bag. So the bungee cord opens here and this opens up into a full tote bag, little carrier bag. So a lot of times on my way home from work, I will pick up groceries or wine or both. <laughs> and instead of having to worry about getting a grocery bag or if it's really wet and gross outside, sometimes those get wet and then the handles break on them first world problems but this little bag is always helpful to have and it folds up so small and tiny and compact that I like to keep it with me so those are the items that are different in my work bag than my regular bag so moving right along so the handbag that I carry on the weekends and this thing is so heavy right now um I interchange between a few but this one has been kind of a love of mine for a little bit now and this is the Zach Posen envelope dome handbag so you can see the outside here it does have a chain i'm sorry not a chain but a strap detail here along with the handbag handles and then we have the gold plating detail that just has zach posing embossed on the top so this is kind of my weekend bag um it holds far too much it gets to be far too heavy but what are you gonna do so I guess I'm just going to pull out stuff and show you what's in my bag. So, there are a couple pockets in here. Actually, just one pocket. There's one, I'll try to get it to show you. There's one side pocket right here. So, we'll kind of delve into that guy first. So, in that side pocket is this little coach wallet that I keep in my bag kind of all times and also um, in my coat pocket for commuting because it has my bus card in it so I can get on the bus every day or the train rather every day. It has my work ID in it, which I won't flash at you. <laughs> and what else is in here? A random coupon. Oh, for the Randolph Street Market, which is a pretty cool thing here in the city. They have like a vintage market and fair and stuff. It happens once a month. It's pretty awesome. And what else is in here? Oh, my state ID is here which I did an okay picture, but I'm not gonna show you. And this wallet is pretty handy because it's compact, it's small, it keeps the you know pertinent items very handy and close. And also I can either stuff my debit card or a little bit of cash, and this fits in a pocket of my scrubs really well, so I can kind of carry it around at work because I tend to uh, work between two office spaces and so or clinic areas so it, it's helpful to have like a wallet with me if I need to grab something to eat in between so that is what's in that side pocket along with a little um, holder and this is like a business card holder which is it's silver so I'll try not to blind you my good friend Tiffany got this for me for my birthday one year and it says whoever said money can buy happiness didn't know where to shop which she knows her sister so well because this was perfect. So anyway, I keep my little business cards in here, which I keep handy, especially if I'm going to events um, that I can like kind of make some contacts and uh, network with people. And then also randomly, like today I was getting dinner and the girl who was working in the restaurant, she was like, oh my gosh, your makeup is so beautiful. And what is that highlight? And she like clearly was into makeup and we were just having a cute conversation and she was really, really sweet. And I was like, oh, you can check out my YouTube channel. And so I gave her one of my cards. So it was nice to have this handy. So thanks Tiff. So that is the little side pocket. Now the rest of this bag is just kind of an open situation. So I'm just gonna pull out stuff. So first we have a wallet here, which is way overstuffed with way too much crap. It's so much stuff in here. Um, this is from Coach. It's pink, which you guys know I love pink. Um, and it's very good because it holds a few different items. This wallet is kind of a mess. So <laughs> there's a lot of coupons and stuff in here and different IDs and such. Um, an ID from school when I was taking Spanish classes, which I hope to get back to shortly. My driver's license is in here. A sample of some hand sanitizer. <laughs> Just some little random stuff. And then, of course, my Costco card because... You need your Costco card, girl. And then stuff inside of my wallet, just debit cards or maybe a credit card or two, uh, coupons, receipts, things that 
I haven't figured out how to level out are in this wallet. So let's put that over there. Uh, the next thing in this bag is a book. This is by Edward P. Jones. It's called The Known World. My good friend Tajma uh, recommended this for our book club. So I'm pretty jazzed to finish it. And it's coming up in a couple weeks. So I need to hurry up. But it is a really, really good book. Um, and it's by Edward P. Jones, who is like a Pulitzer Prize winner. So I'm in two book clubs. One of them is more of a social club. <laughs> this one may be more of a book club. So I have to finish this book. So it's in my bag. So it can be pretty handy uh, to read when I have free time. So the next thing in my bag is some peppermint after coffee gum from Starbucks. I am not a big gum chewer. I don't chew a lot of gum every now and then. Uh, but I find that occasionally I do drink, I drink more coffee than I do eat gum. But occasionally, you know, you just feel like you might have coffee breath and you don't want that. So I picked up some gum in Starbucks buying coffee one day. So that is that. I like them. They're fine. The next item in here is very uh, Chicago appropriate. A pair of gloves. <laughs> These are from Columbia. Um, they have the finger technology so you can kind of still use your phone while your gloves are on. And they also have the reflective um, technology that Columbia offers, which is why I love them. Um, this reflects your body heat and keeps your body really, really warm. So I really, really love these gloves and I picked them up recently. So the next item are my Ray-Ban reading glasses. So these are them here. I will put them on for you maybe in this hat. There we go. So there we go little cat eye situation i love these glasses they're actually kind of tortoise shell with some purple and they're just nice and funky and i need to wear glasses pretty much i wear them every day at work um on the weekends not so much and i don't wear contacts because i don't put i don't put things in my eye like that but glasses always handy the next thing in the bag is my makeup bag and this one, I think you guys have seen, I picked it up at Gen Beauty. It says I came, I saw, I contoured. And it's just a canvas bag uh, with a pink lining. It's pretty cute. And I just have a few staple items in here. Hand cream sample, again, that I almost just threw away. Um, a few, I think it's just hand cream, lip products. I don't even think I have perfume in here anymore. I used to, but I think I took it out. Um, oh, blotting papers. So some e.l.f. blotting papers, uh, lip products, a mirror from House of Lashes. It says Lash Game Strong. I love this little mirror. It's so cute. The lip products I have are a couple, oh, geez, lipsticks from Wet n Wild. That I like both of these. One's more brown, one's more kind of neutral. Most of these colors are neutral colors. This is Veronica from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I need to pick up another one because I love this lipstick. A Pro Long Wear Lip Pencil and Morning Coffee because it's pretty much my lip color. And lastly, MAC Whirl which is ever popular and people really love it. It's like that Kylie Jenner lip or whatever, but it's actually just a prettier version of my lip color. So it's neutral. So it goes in the makeup bag. But the next item are my Sunnies. These are from the brand Dita, D-I-T-A. And I can't remember what style these are, but they're these gorgeous cat eye frames. So I will try to get them on my face oh yeah mm -hmm. yes honey so yeah these are my sunglasses I heart them so much they are really sturdy and they reflect the sun really well I got a good like they're dirty but other than that I got a good like lens covering on them or I had my lenses treated so they kind of reflect the glare really well. And they're also prescription, which was a first for me. This is my first pair of like prescription sunglasses. So I definitely keep them in this case because they cost mama a little bit of a penny. But now she can see and be cute. So that is important, ladies. <laughs> you, you don't always want to sacrifice function for fashion. But sometimes you can combine them both. So it's a win-win. So we are winning. The last item in this bag 
is actually the dust ruffle that came with the bag. And so this tip I got from, I think it was Casey Holmes here on YouTube. Um, I saw that she kept her dust ruffle in her bag and I thought that was the most brilliant idea because occasionally you may be out and there's not, I'm not savvy enough to always keep one of those purse hooks in my bag. I should. I have like two or three of them. I just can't find them. But if I don't have that because I tend to lose them, I know my dust ruffle is in my bag. And if I'm forced to sit my bag on the floor, which I definitely don't enjoy doing, but if I have to sit on the floor or on a surface that I'm not really sure of to protect the bottom of my bag, I just lay my dust ruffle on that surface and then put my bag on top. And then I put my bag on top and it's safe and secure and nothing's going to harm the bottom of the bag. So that way I can just kind of extend the life of the bag and really take care of it. And you know, love it forever. So that is enough things in this bag. It's considerably lighter now because I don't have all the things in it. But it just has a little zipper top here. Like I mentioned the gold detailing and the plating here that says Zach Posen. And that's all that's in it. So thank you to our lovely subscriber who recommended that I do this video. I was very excited to do that. I just needed to get around to filming it finally. So happy I got that done this weekend. I'm going to go put everything back in my bag and have some dinner because I am now hungry and it is time for dinner and why as usual. So thank you guys for coming back to my channel. If you have been here before, happy, happy return. I'm so glad you are back. I'm so glad you've subscribed. If you are new to my channel, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button on the way out. I would so appreciate it if you enjoyed this video and want to see more from me. Definitely describe, describe, definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on anything, but also go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. That helps me out a ton. You guys have no idea. As always, I love you so much. Thank you so much for joining me today and enduring what is shaping up to be a hopefully 15 minute video. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. As always, I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, Jesus.